but I was also equally as loud. So, wow, this is go. it. Actually, is uh, quite wild to have headphones in. It feels, yeah, yeah, it's a little a very NPR. It is. Mm -hmm. I'm. I can hear myself in a way that. Uh, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't appreciate. I, it, I can see why Ron on has decided that this isn't for him. <laughs> don't you go no headphones on me? No, I gotta go. I gotta go headphones. <laughs> No, you can do no headphones. I really kind of, I kind of like no headphones. All right, then I'm doing whatever you do. All right, yeah. No I mean, is that gonna fuck you up? Because we we're not gonna. All right. All right. Yeah, that's fun. Okay. Yeah, let's do a, a unique episode of no headphones. That's the fun. second one in two weeks. I mean, Jesus. Yeah, we'll call it unique, Ryan. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we got another no headphoner. Uh huh. That's me, <laughs> Ryan Donahue. How you doing? I'm doing well. I'm doing really well. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> My forthcoming novel. <laughs> Yeah, yeah we started. Super, the plant, the fucking curtain. This is all very. Yeah, yeah. Oh, how are you? How mm -hmm. do you start anything ever? Yeah. Uh, hi, my name is Terry Gross. Welcome to Fresh Air. <laughs> hi, I'm super horny. I mean, fuck, I fucked up. Yeah, honestly, terrible. that could have been the title of our last podcast. <laughs> oh yeah, you guys were talking about. Oh, it was fun. Dirty, uh, filth. Naughty. Really? Yeah, it was with, great. With a girl? Yeah. I didn't know you guys talked about that kind of shit. Basically, we're running for president. Really? And, uh, yeah, we're, it's now it's like. Um, a president of the Slut Society. Wow. <laughs> Very fun. A couple whores in the White House, huh? Yes, we need them. We oh, yeah, them. I know. Yeah. No, there's been nothing but whores in there for decades, <laughs> if you ask me. Our first uh, uh, item of business, uh, only funding Planned Parenthood. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Just <laughs> nothing else. No more babies. Nope. That would help. <laughs> it would help a lot, honestly. They do a lot more than just abortions. Okay, Ryan. Uh, Planned Parenthood. Yeah, like birth the, control, basically. Yeah. All right, we'll move on. Well, no, um, that's an abortion. <laughs> that's like a a pre, you know. Oh, uh, you're calling birth control pre-abortions. <laughs> yeah, heard it here first, people. Yeah, yeah you know, uh, I think if you're not having sex, that's also technically an abortion. Yeah, right. A Republican from North Dakota. <laughs> yeah, I just had an abortion into a toilet. Uh, not. <laughs> Not more than a day ago, so I'm feeling pretty progressive, Caitlin. Thank you for having me on your show. Oh, I loved it. What yeah. a way to start. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> anyway, Ryan, how you doing? I'm doing really well. Yeah, great. <laughs> no, I really am, you know. I feel refreshed. My air is clear. I've uh, stood in the rain for several <laughs> <laughs> hours on the way here i'm wet i'm dry i'm alive i'm dying mm -hmm. everything's good yeah you're yeah. everything all at once yes everywhere yeah <laughs> <laughs> have we seen it no i uh um yeah no things are going well I, i'm having fun i saw a play last night that was cool oh what play uh the piano lesson august wilson's play and okay. samuel L. jackson was in it and cool. i thought that was cool to see that guy just like talk shit you know, yeah, he's talking shit. Well, you know, he was reading his lines. Oh, I see. But the lines are written in such a way that it feels like he's talking shit. He's oh, also a very cool. organic, you know. Yeah, guy. I feel like he is almost playing the same character over and over again, which mm -hmm. is I could see how you might say that. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. But I've also it. only ever seen him in Avenger movies. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, that's why. Yeah. Yeah. But no, I no, thought, I've seen him in a lot. You of know, stuff, there's but... something about theater though that does feel very voyeuristic to me. Mm -hmm. You know, like I'm in the dark and I'm watching someone in their home and they're having yeah. like private moments and I'm like, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, love. yeah. You know, there's some kind of peeping tom energy to it, mm -hmm. which I've grown to love. Okay. Yeah, it's peeping season. Huh? Okay. Uh. <laughs> All right, rear window. No, tell me about it. At first, I <laughs> thought I was so uncomfortable. I was like, "Oh God, I shouldn't be here," you know. But now mm -hmm. I'm just like, "Oh, this is actually kind of dope," you know. Little You're... window into the private life of fictional characters. Come on, who doesn't yeah. like that? I mean, and it's and then you paid for it, so yeah, they're giving you permission. Well, I didn't pay, but. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't deserve to see that. Play. No, yeah, I mean it is kind of gross how much money it costs, though. It's a very, yeah. uh, you know. So there is something kind of it's art, but it's also fucking yeah, only for the rich. That's why I get a little annoyed with Broadway plays as opposed to musicals. Also, do, I don't know if you know this. There's fucking actors in those, and they suck. <laughs> actors, actors are the worst. Yes. It's like you're and you're not even singing. I'm not paying fifty dollars to see someone not sing at me. You know right. what I mean? Yeah, I I could go on Eighth Ave and watch someone sing at me for free. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to see more talent than I have. There was singing in the show last night, though. There was singing. Oh yeah, Samuel was singing. Samuel sang. What? It was cool. That's very cool. I know. Talking shit and singing. Yeah, okay. I'm I'm still high off it. Okay. But how are you? <laughs> Who cares? Oh, you're right. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's not relevant. No, I'm fine. I'm uh, doing well. I'm I actually... like the fern. I don't know if it's on camera. It's not, but there no. is a fern. Thank you so much for bringing it up. No, yeah. There we go. Okay. No. <laughs> just do that. Sure. <laughs> okay, yeah. So there, there. That's nice. That's nice. a nice fern. Okay. So if Thank you watch you. this on YouTube for free, not a Patreon, because I don't know how to do it. Right. Uh, That's YouTube. Firm. Dot yeah, com. A fern. A firm fern. It is fake. Yeah. Anyway. Great. Um, it's staying there. This, I'm very look. comfortable with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So now I'm now realizing anything I bring up in this room, you yep. will put on the table, <laughs> well, and I won't do crazy. that. Yeah. No. I will not walk out of scene. <laughs> fair. Fair. <laughs> Within arm's reach, it's mm -hmm. coming. Um, oh, that's a cool dildo collection over there. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> I accidentally brought it. Ah, they all fit in my fanny pack. <laughs> that was a fun sound. <laughs> Thank you. If you ever had buttons, ah, <laughs> ah, would be a fun. Yeah. <laughs> That one on demand, baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Yes. Where are you from? Uh, Foster, Gloucester, Rhode Jesus Island. Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> what a mouthful. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. Foster, Gloucester. Yeah, okay. that's the yeah. Uh, it's a uh, two towns they combined to make one town because there wasn't enough in each. I guess there were not enough kids to make a district. For, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a they, hyphen school. Yeah, it's a hyphen or, school. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's where I'm from. Yeah. Are you a, a woods boy? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Little woods boy. Yeah, absolutely. I truly would. Yeah, I've I've been in the city now though, like more, like almost half my life. So yeah. I uh, feel like, but it's still, it's still in me in Do you small prefer ways. It? You know what I notice? I I say I still save boxes of expensive shit that I buy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's a poor habit. No, I do that too. But I was also raised poor. Yeah. yeah. What lower middle? It's class like oh, the iPhone says. box. I might need that. Like, I what still the fuck have am it. I doing? Yeah. I still. Mine right. from two phones ago. Right, I made me. I made me throw it away. Good for you. <laughs> Good how, for you. You watch Marie Kondo. That's how we talk about ourselves just... in the woods. Yeah, <laughs> I made me do it. I, <laughs> I'm, I me eat dinner. I eat dinner. Me, but yeah, a lot of hot dogs and beans. A lot of fucking spaghettios with Ritz crackers on those bitches. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Velveeta. I was mm -hmm. like my favorite. Now I can't fucking look at it. Really? But, oh yeah, I'm not a Velveeta guy. Oh anymore. my god, mac and cheese made with Velveeta. There is nothing better. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> It's just it's one of those things where it's like if you have Cheerios every day, yeah. it starts to feel like the Cheerios are mocking you. Yes, you know? I get it. Yeah, yeah, they're laughing. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yeah, like the <laughs> score in Twin Peaks. I don't know if you've seen, you know what I'm talking about. Every fucking scene has the same exact theme music. And it's like, are you calling me a bitch for watching this? You fucking. Yeah. So every meal was like that. You know, there was one meal my stepmom would cook. They called it in my dad has a hearing problem. So this might not be how it's pronounced, but it was spaghetti and alige. That was what I was told it was. And it's truly just a can of anchovies dumped into spaghetti <laughs> with butter. And it was like the bones just poke your oh, it was fucking gross. That's so gross. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> So the food in the city is much better. Yes, I yeah. get that. Yeah, which is basically what you have to do to live. So. Yeah, I don't cook. Yeah. No, no, no not a no. cooking boy? I'm not a cooking boy at all. I mean, I truly think New York just allows you to eat pretty cheap if you're smart. And yeah. And it's actually good food. Yeah. You know I just started meal prepping. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, it's so sad. But I'm also oh, like... I guess I'll ration <laughs> this out and hopefully not die before it's over. Well, it's more like I um no, I, I spend so much money on food. Yeah. Because when I, I'm ordering online, I'm like, oh, it's only like $6. And so then I get three of them. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah. So I have no impulse control when it comes to food. So I'm trying to ration out and be like, this is your meal. You fucking eat it, you know? Yeah, well, these grub hug things are bullshit. Like, mm -hmm. I try to avoid that as much as possible because it, like, doubles the price. They're yeah. like, it's 40% off, but... The shipping is fucking eighty dollars. <laughs> you got to pay the guy who brings it to you ninety five cents. Yeah, and I don't mind. Tip, I'd rather tip the guy, but not yeah. the fucking. Uh, I know. You know. I picture like a fat guy in a hill or whatever, yeah. <laughs> collecting all this money. Now that's some woods mentality. It's sure. a fat guy on a hill. Yeah, it's yeah. always a fat guy. All of it. Uh huh. There's a big fat man <laughs> on a big hill, and he's looking down on all of us, and he's laughing. Yeah, no, that's fully. The conspiracy of the woods people. For okay. Sure. All right. Yeah. I like that. Okay. Yeah. There are things about that life that's fun. Like I do like uh, the dichotomy of, uh, you know, broken people and beautiful nature. I think yes, that's a fun. That is that's fun. fun. Yes. Uh, but no, I, I mean, but people here are also broken. So, you know, it's yeah, not broken that the people and dirty. Are better. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's just a different. Broken in filth. But I, I like, uh, I like the city myself. Yeah. yeah. That's kind of what I decided I prefer. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm not like, oh, I just got to make my bag and then I can go back to my yeah. hut. No. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely, uh, but also paying fucking three grand also a month feels like mm -hmm. you're 
Yeah, you're, you're out of your mind. You're being made fun of. What would again. your dad say to yeah, Oh, that? my God. Yeah. yeah, does he like you living in the city or no? He doesn't give a shit. No. <laughs> no. He's like, oh, good, not in my house? Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. One no, less farmhand. They have shit. too many kids. Yeah, it's truly like- How uh, many brothers and sisters? Uh, one of six boys. Oh, my God. Yeah, and there's only three bedrooms in the uh, house, and wow. they're not very big. So it's like just giant uh, people living in tiny places, and they aren't- Psyched wow. about it. Yeah. Are you the smallest one? Uh no, there's two twelve year olds still. No way. Yeah, they had kids when I was like twenty. So I was I've never really like oh I my God. I hang with them. I know. In the woods we don't believe in generations. Kevin. Okay. Yeah. It's a fallacy of civilized okay. people. Got yeah. It. It's truly just chaos and you mm -hmm. just you know, you procreate when when you're when you feel like you might need help this winter. Yeah. Uh, no, that makes sense. Bringing yeah. logs in or yeah. something. Yeah, my back's getting bad. I better have kids now so they can help me in six years. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yep. I got it. Uh okay. yeah, it's a very survivalist mentality. <laughs> uh no, but they're great. I mean the twelve year olds are probably my favorite. Uh Whoops! <laughs> We're leaving it in. No, we they're take yeah, in. they rule. They're they're yeah. cool, uh, and they like basketball. You know, they Aww. they breathe life into the family. Yeah, so it's nice. Yeah, that makes sense. That's very sweet. Yeah, do you have brothers and sisters? This isn't about about me. Okay, um, all right. <laughs> but yes, I have two sisters. Not an older how conversations and work, but all right. Well, you know, it is a podcast, and we're trying to get to know Ryan Donnie. Is that a fact? Is it a get to know the the person that's on? Yeah, and, oh, and where we try and pinpoint your alcoholism, and then oh, um, the sources of my alcoholism. Yeah, yeah, and then it's an oh, intervention. Like, honey, get why in here. why didn't you just <laughs> ask? Um, Did you start drinking in the woods? Oh, for sure. Yeah, how there's old? not much else to do. Uh, <laughs> fifteen, I believe. Yeah, fifteen. Yeah, nice. That was like truly what. Yeah, what happened? What happened? Yeah, what was your first drinking experience? Um, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was bored and then... <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, it was like, uh, you know, just kids bringing a 30-pack into the woods and just yeah. dr drinking it all and puking and, you know. Where, did, was it older brothers that brought you in or just friends? Uh, an older... Yeah, my older brother, my older cousin as well, I would say. Uh, yeah, and like, my mom was... She, liked, she was a rolling rock gal. Yes. When I was young. I love her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, sneak a few here and there. Kind yeah. Of thing. Uh -huh. uh, but then, yeah, I mean, as I got to be 16, 17, then we were just able to kind of, yeah. we knew uh, old people. Oh, yeah? I mean, just like 21-year-olds who I feel like get things. It, in the woods, like, people don't really have a lot of rules. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, there were just houses or buses that we could just go to and, and get high and party and hang yeah. out. And it wasn't like anyone was watching or giving a shit. Dude, I threw a party before school one time. Before school? Before school. A.M.? Yeah. An A.M. party? Yes. Tell me about it. So it was like... Uh, <laughs> There was one day senior year where like the kids, uh, seniors didn't have to be in school until 11 a.m. So I called my friends that the more day before I was like, hey, uh, 8 a.m. my place. Uh, we have three hours. I'm going to set up tables and we're going to all. So I had like 35 kids at my Whoa. house, just all of us getting shit housed. And like, I remember like leaving my house and I watched someone puke on the side of their truck. And I was like, they're not going to make it to school. <laughs> <laughs> But we all went to school and were shit faced. I, w I was in a Tigger costume. <laughs> There's a picture, what? yeah, in the yearbook of that. It's me and the high school quarterback who was like the sweetest boy, you know. Yeah. And uh, I was just, I'm like fucking shit housed. <laughs> and somehow nothing bad happened as a result of that. Really? And I'm very happy about that. Yeah. That's so fun, though. Yeah. So it's like very loose. And I think teachers knew yeah. what the fuck was going on. Like literally girls got to school and like went and peed in the parking lot, like before, <laughs> instead of just going into the bathroom like a fucking not like feral. Like a Kenny Chesney concert? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's exactly. Yeah. So there's a lot of like, um, you know, like bonfire -y type mm -hmm. party scenarios. Were you a cool kid? Um, I was kind of actually friends with everybody. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't have like a click. I was kind of like uh, in and out of every, like I played music with my friends. That was like my favorite thing. So we all just kind of uh, got high. And But I, I remember there was like a girl who was more of a, uh, how do you say, like, um, you know, theater kid, kind mm -hmm. of like well-read. Yes. Um, and uh, <laughs> she could read all the words. She could read all the words, <laughs> you know. And uh, and I saw her like a few years after high school, and she was working at a, at a restaurant. She like gave me my food for free, and I was like, oh, I guess I made a good impression there. Like I didn't know, you know. What yeah, I mean? yeah, so yeah. I, that's how I knew I wasn't a dick. That was like, yeah, you know, because like later you're like, was I an asshole? Like I oh, always have that narrative going. Oh on yes. Head. But I, um, I had it last night when I couldn't fall asleep. Right. I was just like, I can't believe I did that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What was it that you were stuck on? Oh, I was thinking about high school. and um, Really? 
Oh my god. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking about <laughs> <laughs> just high school and like I had a little drama with uh this one girl. Uh-huh. Shoshana. Tell me about that. No, I won't do it. You, it's not about you, me. You just na- <laughs> you just named her. I know. All right, yeah, fair enough. I don't um, think she listens to podcasts. But yeah, I, I was like class clown, you know, yeah, in, the, silly boy. in the yearbook. Yeah. In a ticker costume, I would understand. Yeah, exactly. That might yeah. be your role. And I was just very uh, rambunctious. It was like I would always cause uh, chaos in the class, but I was funny enough to where I wasn't like mean. Mm-hmm. So the teachers like truly didn't know yeah. what to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were I like, well, like, I enjoy this too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. It yeah. was like, I can't just go to yeah. the principal. <laughs> but like, you know, yeah, it was just like. A pro- it was fun. I, I had a great time. Did your parents find out about the morning party? No. No. Mm-mm. They never found out. No, but I was called by the police that day, but it was because I passed a bus in my car. It wasn't because I threw a party. So I thought it was uh, that. But So I was- you were driving drunk? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> of course I was. <laughs> the fuck? Yeah, they don't really have that in the woods. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's not. You mean driving? Uh, yeah, no, it's not. It's truly, you know, a free for all out there. I remember there's this guy. Um, I don't even want to name him, but he was just a very. Some of the kids that went to my school lived in homes with parents. And yeah, some yeah. of them lived in shacks with one parent. That mm-hmm. was kind of me. Yeah. And then some of them lived in NASCARs, let's say. I don't know. Not really. But NASCAR, like, truly, like in cars? Like truly like lived in, you know, yeah. Hubbles in the, but everyone's like a mile deep into the woods, whatever. So you never really know what yeah. someone's reality is because there's mm-hmm. no uh, common way of being like yeah, in a suburb. Yeah. You don't have a Jones to keep up with. Yeah. Yeah. So free for all. <laughs> but one kid who was always kind of a smellier kid, uh-huh. uh, the last I heard of him my buddy was in the woods and he was like, um, you know, I don't know what he was doing out there, probably burying a body. <laughs> and uh, I don't know what he was doing. Just looking for bones. But just like there was, it was, he was, oh, he was off roading. He was like ATV off roading or whatever. And there was uh, uh, just a fucking pickup truck like barrel assing into the, in, like through the trails and then it just crashed into a tree and then this dude Jake that I went to high school with just like fell out of the truck and like walked off into the woods and like that's the last I've heard of like that guy oh god <laughs> so there is like that thing going on but then people there was also people that are you know very sound logic and mm-hmm. they work like my aunt and uncle yes they have like a you know she was a nurse he was a firefighter they have a garage oh uppity you yeah. know what i mean yeah the big garage dude it's a big garage yeah for sure attached or detached detached wow mm-hmm. that's money right they there. actually lived in it while they were building oh, their Jesus. house <laughs> And then it comes right back. Yeah, yeah. And then it comes right but, back. But now it's just a enormous garage. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? So that's sick. That is very sick. Yeah, so people, you know, there's people out there. Wait, I semi grew up in the woods. Where? My uh, Northern California. Uh, yeah, it's like an hour away oh. from Murder Mountain. Yeah, yeah, dude, yeah, yeah. there's gummy people out there, man. Oh, yeah, it was like meth country USA. And like probably pot farm, like robbery mm-hmm. thing going on. Oh, yeah, on yeah. the mountain that my family has their cabin on. My grandparents were teachers and so they built this cabin in the woods in the 60s it's not about you okay no i'm kidding all right all right go on, go on. so they they put, wait your teacher or grandparents build a cabin in the woods in yeah the they built a cabin in the woods okay. all right but i'm gonna f- bring this no. my comfort fern um <laughs> no um, you think they banged in there oh for sure nice. i think my grandparents banged until the very last day uh they were, yeah. yeah that's the way they it had five be. kids and they were just like we like this we're yeah grown. they all had l names too really yeah all the kids Lorna? Anyway, no larry <laughs> larry uh lisa no landry landry <laughs> L- lucius look <laughs> Close. Uh, Lucifer? <laughs> no. L- Leslie. Oh, one of my uncles. Leslie. Like no, Leslie. Larry. <laughs> you really nailed it with the Larry. Oh, fuck. There were two Larrys. My, oh, oh, really? My grandfather's name was Larry, and then he named his firstborn son Larry. Narcissist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah, so we have a detached garage as well, but they built it after they retired. Mm. So there was just like this cabin in the woods, and. Uh, I forgot what I was talking about. They're banging it out out They're there. They're banging it out up there. Transcendental, yes. crazy but sex. But there was only three bedrooms and there was, I think there was 14 gra- grandchildren. So mm. we all had to sleep on the deck and then all the parents slept inside. Oh, nice. So it was very fun. But it was um, trashy. Yeah. Like, you but know. I love that But we, all, we were only there in the summers. I would prefer so was, that to some like use the right fork. No one talks at the dinner table. Oh, yeah. Kind of no. shit. Like it was we had a big long table outside. We would eat and then we would put it all away and then go downstairs, get mats and sleep on the deck. Nice. You know who's from my hometown? 
is uh, H.P. Lovecraft. I don't know who that is. Oh, really? He's like a science horror, fi- like a like a what do you call that? Science fiction horror writer. That's fun. Um, from like way like eighteen hundreds era. Mm-hmm. And my buddy uh, lived in his house, uh, the house that he lived in, uh, his house <laughs> that he lived in. <laughs> what? <laughs> and uh, and actually managed to uh, burn it down with a pop tart. A pop tart. Yeah. <laughs> He like put a pop tart in a toaster, and the cupboard was too low. Oh no! And then it just uh, burned his family's house down that he was living. But it was also H.P. Lovecraft's house. More, more, more importantly. Yeah. So now it's gone. It's gone. Oh no! That's nah, funny. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. We like. They it. actually and they got like a huge uh, insurance thing. Like he had like a plastic snowboard. He got like a Burton. Like their life got better. Oh you know? good. Yeah. Okay. Did yeah. he build a new house? Uh yeah they came in and build a you know that's great yeah they don't still live in the rubbish okay yeah. good for them some might good but for not them, them. yeah <laughs> so Look after oh, high school what do you do uh I get out okay um I actually went to Vermont cool yeah I hated it okay uh it was so cold I'm so sorry <laughs> and homogenous and I was like oh this I need to leave like I knew instantly what do you mean by homogenous like just everyone liked the same music yeah, and was the same it's... everyone just looks like me yeah, everyone yeah, there yeah. It was mm-hmm. just like, it was just a million me's. You get there and you're like, this is going to be great. And you're like, I actually hate myself. Yeah, yeah. I hated everything about it. Yeah, yeah. And it was just truly also, you know, I might get shit for this, but like there is like uh, like Burlington, Vermont, you know, Northern mm-hmm. City. Like I do stand up there like on occasion. And mm-hmm. I like example, I have a joke about the Confederate flag and I did it in Birmingham, Alabama and they fucking loved it. Mm-hmm. And it's anti Confederate flag yeah, yeah. for the record. Uh, surprisingly <laughs> Thank you for and that. no but it's important to note because they liked it in Birmingham because they live it but then in Burlington they are afraid of it mm-hmm. like and they just silence and yeah. it's like oh so you guys just moved away from all the black people you didn't actually yeah 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 you're like not actually liberal at all like yeah. you just want to be like not near the conversation so you yeah. they don't even know how to so that's what I was picking up on out there. I was yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. this is We like... put out the sign and that's enough. <laughs> yes. yes, it's uh it's and truly I forgot who I was with, but we were partying uh one night and someone oh. someone was saying that the that sign is like basically like a please don't rob me sign. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. What I mean? <laughs> that's so funny. Yeah. Oh, it's my friend's mom actually. So we weren't partying. We were drinking grape juice, which is a party. Uh, <laughs> it can be Welch's. <laughs> yeah. But um so I lived there, hated it, and then I went to Boston where I lived with uh, my two cousins and my best friend uh from forever who's still yeah. my best friend. And that was so fun. Yeah. That was I had my first acid experience there that's fun and uh i actually decided it'd be a good idea to take the train to my cut co- like it was and, and then it, it was valentine's day and we're just like stuck on this train and you're trying to fall in love train, with yourself <laughs> like <laughs> like that sound like in my bones and i'm like oh boy that feels <laughs> real bad and then like we're going back to my cousin's house and we finally get there after like a shuttle bus and all this shit just like a pregnant lady with a balloon like fucking <laughs> And uh, and then uh, we get there, and my cousin's like, "Oh yeah, by the way, my snake's loose." Oh my god! And I was like, "Absolutely not!" Yeah, I was, but also, of course, it, you know. Yeah, yeah. But yes, it was, uh, it was hell. That Good, was... it doesn't need it. But cage. the drug is great. Have you had acid? Have you had? No, no. Have you had this? <laughs> I've had this drug <laughs> called acid. Yeah. No, I have not. Oh, it's so good. I don't really like chemicals. I'll do mushrooms, but I won't do acid. Okay, I get that. Do yeah. you smoke cigarettes? No. Not a chemical. I was hoping to get you on that. Yeah, nope. Sorry. Yeah, no, I don't smoke <laughs> cigarettes. But um acid and mushrooms are the, my two drugs of choice mm-hmm. if I have to if I have to do drugs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How long were you in Boston? Uh six years. It's funny, my ex boyfriend knew who you were because he was a skateboarder and he was like, I would see him at skate boarding places really yeah he said that he knew and then he, they were like he got on kimmel you know wow and so i was doing comedy and he was with me and he was just like do you know ryan donahue because i kind of know him <laughs> but what's weird about that is i don't skateboard i mean and i didn't i mean i don't know what it was but he knew who you were interesting hometown boy from boston that's what he thought yeah yeah and he was living in boston yeah i mean yeah boston i mean i was like there's enough comedy happening there where you can kind of i would get recognized a lot mm-hmm. also i was like the only long-haired boy yeah you know mm-hmm. like it was pretty easy in comedy at least yeah yeah like everyone there like was just kind of looking like they were auditioning for a letterman spot in yeah like, yeah 1991 <laughs> 
Um, but uh, yeah, it was a very um, it was like easy to stand out, almost to a detriment. I feel like people like lean into something wacky or weird mm-hmm. in like a small town in general, and then move to New York, and it's like, yeah, we're all mentally ill and yeah. gay and. <laughs> You know, like it doesn't. We're all sucking each other off. Yeah, and like <laughs> fucking weird about it. So it's like you can't. It truly becomes in New York, like that zany thing that would kill in a small city. Yeah. You go to New York, and it's like, oh, are you unwell? Like, yeah. did we let a homeless person in? Like, you know. <laughs> um. So yeah, I never really leaned into the. They were like, you gotta have jokes about your hair. I'm like, I'm pretty sure other people will just get it. Yeah. I, like, I think Boston is its own like you know. Yeah. Baseball mm-hmm. diamond yeah. of a place. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get any uh, any stories from that, Boston? Uh, that, uh, what? Uh, I'm sure. Uh, ooh. Did I get what? Any what? I'm going to hold my protective fern again. <laughs> it's just being so mean I to just, me. No, am I? Oh, sorry. No, you're not. Oh. I'm fine. Good. Uh, <laughs> any any stories from there? Yeah, any stories from Boston? Um, Well, I lived in this house um, with, it was an eight bedroom that was built in like, the 90, early 1900s, and it w- okay. used to be the clergyman's house back when the mosque next door was a Catholic church. Okay. okay. And so I lived in this eight-bedroom, old, rickety house with 11 dudes. Jesus who were Christ. all musicians it or music-adjacent so people. Yeah, it was, dude. So you don't want to live in the party house. You no. Know? <laughs> but I did it for a year. And so, yeah, we had this whole system. We paid all of our utilities and stuff by getting three kegs every Friday. Jesus. And charging five dollars the door, play music in the basement, and it was like parties, you know? Mm-hmm. Like three hundred people. Like Whoa. fucking crazy party. And like two people would work the front door, one person would work the back, there were walkie talkies. Like it was a whole system that we had. Wow. And uh and then people playing music downstairs were just playing music downstairs. But um there was so the weird yeah, there was a lot of like we had all right, I'll get to how it got gross, but for now let's <laughs> stay with fun. Okay. So um, yeah, the parties were very fun. I used to wear party gloves. Oh which no, was, you didn't. Yeah, dude. But it, I didn't like. It, they were just working gloves, like uh, like gloves you would use to hold a raccoon that's gonna bite you. You know, and, what uh, a woods reference, right? You know what that's I mean? That's insane. Though? You know those? No, like the like wood woodworking gloves. Yeah, like thick. <laughs> anyway, the point is, it wasn't like my point is, I wasn't trying to be sexy. It was just I was gonna be doing this with draft beer yeah. all night. <laughs> it was like, dude. It was okay. just fucking wild. Got like, before it. I found comedy, I was truly just off the rails. Okay. Like, just doing, <laughs> just being a fucking crazy asshole at all times. I love it. And, um, yeah, I just had all this, you know, wood <laughs> shit and nowhere to put it, you know? And so I was just, like, fucking going so hard. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we had, um, there was, the problem with uh, that many people living is that, like, sometimes uh, in one space, sometimes people you would assume, uh, everyone assumes that someone is someone else's friend. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So one night, it was like a Sunday, we saw leftover keg beer, so we're, like, hanging out, playing music in the basement. There's, like, two guys that are just there. We don't mm-hmm. know who the fuck they are. Uh, no one says anything because everyone assumes that they're friends with someone else. Yeah. And then at some point, one of them says something, like, off color. You know, I don't yeah. know what it was, but it was some weird. And we're like, hey, man, who do you know here? And he goes, oh, I, I know the guy who used to live here. <laughs> and we were like, yeah, but he doesn't live here, dude. <laughs> you need to leave. <laughs> and then, like, as we're saying this and, like, making them leave, my buddy goes, where's my bong? He had, like, a $800 bong or whatever, you oh know, because he was investing. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, He knows what's important. <laughs> yeah. And then he couldn't find his laptop. And so we're like, we're, so we're going to walk these guys to their car now. So we're walking yeah. these two fucking schlubs to their car and we get all the way to their car and it's just full of fucking empty whiskey bottles in the back. Like they're like total scumbags. And so we're like, all right, we walk into their car. They have nothing on them, on their person. They get in their car. There's nothing in their car that's ours. I'm like, if they book it back to our house, we know they hid the shit. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So they do, sure enough. So we're running up the street. I call the cops. And like I'm like on my hands and knees looking f- between cars like to see if there's a- and I find the bong and a laptop like between two parked cars and a police cruiser comes up the hill as they come up a ro- the one way, the wrong way. And they got arrested on the spot. And it was like <gasps> I felt like I was in the Justice League. <laughs> It was fucking sick. You had your gloves on. You were like, yeah. Yeah. And that was like, the, the I would say that was the high point of the morale of the house. Yeah. And then slowly it just started to dissipate. <laughs> and it became like we, heart, we had rats. And I mean like oh. rats. Like rats, dude. Like, like rats have 
skin problems. Uh-huh. When I think of a rat, I think of like patchy skin. Oh God! You know, and they were fucking like literally just using plates that were left out by various people as like urinal cake trays oh, and my shit. God. So it's just like rat piss. And like one time I went to take a shower, and I saw two rats fucking on a radiator, like really like <laughs> fucking getting it. And I was like, I'm this is insane. And then I go into the shower, and there's just a sheet of ice on the shower floor because our heat had been turned off because we weren't able to throw parties anymore because we had too many citations or whatever. Oh. So then my buddy is like smoking a cigarette in this very old house. Mm-hmm. Oh no. And he like flicks it out the window onto the roof oh. where there's a bunch of dry leaves no. and it just sets the house on fire. <laughs> and so we're outside and by this point, every neighbor of ours knows that we're shitheads. Yeah. Like they don't respect us. They, Truly, we're like, ha, 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 finally, <laughs> you fucking idiots, you know? And we're just watching our house burn down. <laughs> and uh, and the firefighters come. And when firefighters come, dude, they fucking come hard. Like, they're like, I left the station for this. I was eating a sandwich. I'm going to fucking destroy your house. <laughs> and they fucking, like, the fire had been out for an hour. But they're, like, ripping. They're like, yeah, there could be sparks in the wood. And they're, like, just pummeling. <laughs> Our, the entire sidewall of our house and my Super Nintendo is completely destroyed by the fire hose. <laughs> and um, that's oh, no. so that was the floor that I stayed on, the top floor. So then there was just plywood <laughs> on there for the winter. Oh, no, and Boston we just winter. like I remember I came home one night shortly after and my cousin is just like warming his hands. We shared a room in in the, in the bedroom over like set, all the candles in the house because everyone else found another place to stay. But we didn't have anywhere to stay. So he was just doing this and then we hear like a bang downstairs and we like go downstairs and like then a shuffling of feet. And so I have a fucking (laughs) knife and he has a hammer (laughs) and we're like slowly walking down the corridor of this creaky old fucking house. And um, then our friend Joe like jumps out and he's like, boo. And I fucking slapped him in the face. (laughs) Because he was the one who lit the fucking fire, dude. So you're gonna light the fire Ruin our house and fucking do a bit. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> I fucking kill you, man. So, yeah, that was kind of like then the house morale was at a, at a pretty all time low. I would say. Yeah, that's pretty low. That was the low, I would say. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but in between, there were some good moments. You know, <laughs> my buddy Josh used to shave the Batman symbol into his chest. Like, <laughs> like he had a very hairy chest, so he would just shave like around it. So it was just the Batman symbol. And one time he did that, left all the hair in a beer box in the hallway and went on vacation for like a week. <laughs> and now there's like wind drift fucking pubic hair, like sort of carpeting the hardwood floor while he's gone. It's just like shit like that all the time. Ugh. There were also so many pizza boxes everywhere. We had this thing called Trash Mountain, which is pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> And uh, oh there would be pizza boxes that would just like be moving themselves across the floor because there's like a mouse and or rat inside of it, like like eating the cheese and scuffing the pizza box. So we just started stomping out pizza boxes because, dude, I know this is fucked up. But when you're <laughs> when you live amongst people and, and uh, animals that are uh, always threatening you, uh, I don't I the humanity of a rat became not. <laughs> my prerogative at all at this point i see a rat i'm like oh that's cute i like it then they were in my bed you know so i'm just like i'm gonna fucking kill you it just became like a sport like a blood sport in our house like it truly was like uh what would you call it uh what's that thing about yes yeah that kind of thing i was gonna go with the lord of the flies or whatever (laughs) um so well read yeah oh sure (laughs) i went to high school (laughs) <laughs> uh but yeah so that was like that house was uh fucking insane but there you know there were some good moments did you ever consider taking out the garbage and the pizza boxes yeah we would but it would just you know what it is it's like when there's that many people and some people are creating more garbage than others you're like i'm done taking yeah, out your garbage the resentment builds yeah mm-hmm. and then it's like no the mountain grows you know <laughs> <laughs> we're all living in the filth yeah and at some point i remember to your point, I was just like, you know what? Fuck this. Fuck these plates. No one ever cleans them. No one. Mm-hmm. It's just fucking like fat from a steak that's just hardened and like rat yeah. piss and shit. And so I just took every plate in the house, every pan, pot, plate, cup, threw them all in the dumpster 
everyone's plates. Just all of them are gone. And I bought paper cups, paper plates. And they were so pissed at me, dude. <laughs> like they were fucking livid with this decision to throw out the rat urinal cake. Like they yeah. were going to fucking use it. But it was like, yeah, so I would take steps like that. But yeah. eventually it just became, I was like, this isn't my responsibility. And I just couldn't wait to get the you fuck got out, out of there. Oh, yeah, I got out. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, man. One year's enough. One year's a long time. Yeah, well, a year is a long time. Especially with a house time. fire. Yeah, the house fire really was I feel just like, like Boston right. is very flammable. Oh, uh, yeah. I... Because my ex-boyfriend's house also burned down in a fire. Yeah, I would say everywhere. Actually, no, I see what you mean. Because here it's like a lot of brick building Mm -hmm. more so but it's very like wood yeah yeah residential home and old and everything's close together that's true yeah i could see that but we did some fun stuff we used to we would take a uh like a bicycle frame put it in a tree and then take two ropes and and use it as like a levy and and levy up a uh a sofa chair into the tree so we just had like a swinging sofa chair and i had a projector so i would put the projector onto a sheet and you would sit and it was like a one person movie theater in a tree just shit like that <laughs> you can't take the woods out of the boy you know no. <laughs> another time i found we oh you know one time <laughs> so we used to uh we had this thing that we would do where we'd get a bottle of whiskey in a backpack mm-hmm. and go down to the burger king up the street and just <laughs> do free refills on the whiskey coke like if it rained or whatever during uh-huh. the day so just get fucking hammered in a McDonald's, you know, or Burger King, rather. And uh, <laughs> they're all the same. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, King. Uh, but, Papa King, I'm so sorry. So one time we're in there uh, getting completely shit house, And as we're walking home in the rain, there was like a giant mirror, like bigger than the door to get in here. And mm-hmm. so we like all carried it home and we turned it into a table. And then our plan was to glue forks knives and place to the ceiling so when you look down at the table you would see like a set table and that <laughs> night when we were starting to set that up my cousin sarah was drunk and she stood on it and just shattered the fucking table <laughs> and then it just stayed there for months you know so he had all these grand plans to turn this into like some kind of like willy wonka for drug addicts but like it just never occurred and it was just smelly and it sucked yeah yeah but it was awesome <laughs> Yeah. And now you have standards. Yeah. 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 I live, you know, I live well now. Yeah. That's gr- I'm so happy Thank for you. you. Yeah. That seemed like you were about to get like tetanus yeah. <laughs> all the time. So, yeah, I moved out of there and then I lived for like two more years. I mean, actually that but that house was the first. Uh, that was the reason I started stand up because my buddy Christopher, he was like I was he, I was reading books about stand up comedy. I was like 20 Mm-hmm. And I was like trying to figure out how to get into it. And I, w- I would go to shows and be like, wow, you know, and like yeah, scared. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, my buddy Christopher built a relationship with this band called Snarky Puppy, who are now like Grammy award winning artists. And really? They, yeah. But they like stayed at our house when they were in town in Boston because uh-huh. uh, they were they, they were still on the come up. But now they're huge. But and there's a reason I'm saying that. Um, <laughs> so it was like my friend was like, had to find them a venue and he found um i think it's called uh i forgot the name of the fucking venue but it's like a big theater you know and so he bought out this theater for this band and mm-hmm. like got like maybe 150 people in there but it was like a 500 seat theater so mm. it didn't feel super full but it was still like ambitious enough of yeah them. and for them to be like hey man we appreciate you and then years later they're like you want to be our tour manager and he was like yeah and then he left $18,000 on top of a vending machine and went back to get it and it was gone and he got fired. But I digress. <laughs> what, the reason, How do you leave it on top of a vending machine? Dude, he was just that kind of guy. Yeah, you know? yeah. He would write high on his hand and just like hold it to the side of a bus as he drove by people and it would piss Boston people off so much. <laughs> Because Boston people, and he would just always wear a top hat and had like a duck cane, and you know, it's like a whole fucking vibe. Jesus. Yes, I know. Christ. And so, um, <laughs> yeah, it was not a good look when he started uh, doing acid and reading like uh, fantasy novels. Like that's not a good thing, Ooh, you know. Like, like you're tripping, and you're like the the Glevelands left the Bagluvi. You know, it's like oh god, you don't want to get into all that. that. Just sounds like your hometown. Sure. <laughs> It is in some ways. Uh, it's an option, at least, of a way. It's, my hometown is very much a choose your own path, explore, you know, mm-hmm. choose your own adventure kind of place. But I, oh, so they were coming to town, and uh, my buddy was like, dude, you got to MC it. You have to MC it. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, man, I don't know. I'd never been on stage without an instrument. I was all yeah. scared. And then I, I decided to do it, and it was awful. And I was bad and drunk and mm-hmm. an idiot. And I had like, 
at some point I had glitter and I like threw it up in the air and it like got it all in their hand drums and shit. Oh my and they, god! They hated me, dude. And like, uh, and then at one point Jeff Coffin was playing with them. He's a, a saxophone player for um, Dave Matthews at the time. Mm-hmm. And I told I was like twenty, and I was like, "You tell Dave Matthews I said he sucks." <gasps> He loved it. He thought it was funny. Okay. Yeah, but... <laughs> that is a big swing. <laughs> yeah, it was a big swing. Yeah, that's what I mean. I was fucking bananas before I yeah. uh, started stand up. But yeah. So that was the first time I did comedy and then, uh, or, you know, got on stage. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. After you that, were in front I... of people talking. Yeah. And then after that, I started to do, and the more I did stand up, the more I was like, I don't want to drink before I do this. And then I started, you know, and it kind of like led to living a regular human life. That's good. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck would have happened if I did not find stuff. <laughs> Then I you'd still be in that fucking attic. Yeah, just with the gloves. Yeah, there were bats, rats, man. No, yeah, we had bats and rats. That's you from top to bottom. Yep. you just we got the vermin covered. It. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds horrendous. Yeah, but it was awesome, you know. Yeah, like it was awesome as a moment. If I had to like stay there and live yeah. that life, that would suck. But like as yeah, a twenty year old, you kind of got to do that shit. Yeah, you kind of figure it out. We would have nights where, where there was no party, but we would like do this game where it was like, all right, we start drinking on the top floor, and then we go to the second floor and drink <laughs> more, and then okay, for, by the time we got to the basement, we were shit house <laughs> and like play music awfully, and then go to bed. It was great. There's <laughs> <laughs> like a lot of games invented around. Um, you know, just yeah. being ridiculous. Yeah. How many floors was it? Uh, four, one, two, three, basement. Yeah. Four. Yep. That sounds great. Yeah, that was the house. That was a party house. Do you for still sure. keep in touch with the guy who burned down your house? Uh, yeah, yeah, he's a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> he lives in San Francisco with his wife, and uh, he's like a videographer. And, oh, that's uh, nice. Doing his thing. Yeah, everybody like another guy. The guy who shaved uh the Batman symbol into his chest. He was uh, being the, he was a musical director on cruise ships for a while and now he's playing music and he lives in LA. And then my buddy Corey lived with me there and he's still my BFF and he lives here. My cousin Kevin. It's like, that's I his keep in job title, my BFF. <laughs> yeah, my BFF, yeah. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. Okay, so now you're doing comedy. Yeah, now I'm, in, yeah. You're doing great. Thank you. Yeah, do you feel good it. about it? I feel good about it. You still drink? Uh, Yeah. 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 But I took five years when I first moved to New York to just be like, all right, I got to shake off everything and just be sober. So Mm -hmm. from 25 to 30, I didn't. And then I was like, once I was 30, I had a real job doing Mm -hmm. comedy things. I was making enough money to live alone. I'm like, all right, I'm going to like, you know, it wasn't that I hit rock bottom. It was just that New York was open till 4 a.m. I was a wild boy. Yeah. And I needed to just figure out how to move in New York. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm also from the sticks. So, so many people like being like the social of it. I never was very good at like strategic friendships. And I think there is strategic friendships. Yeah, you know, like it's like LA. Okay. You know what I'm um, talking about? Almost like climbing. Yes. Okay. And I'm not saying that's like, but I just, I was confusing. Like, I had a hard time understanding like working relationships you know what i mean okay so like i didn't ever want to have friends that it didn't feel like they were my friend like you know what i mean like so Mm -hmm. it just tripped me out for a while so i was like i just got to be a sober boy do comedy really like be like about my shit and Mm -hmm. now um now i'll have a few uh pops you know i mean i saw you the other not the other night like a while ago at the cellar we were all hanging out and you were hammered yeah (laughs) that was, <laughs> and I was like, I, know exactly. I didn't know this type of Ryan existed. <laughs> yeah, no, that was uh, one night. I tried to keep up with Sam J, and she can just drink. Oh, she doesn't stop. Yeah, yeah. and mm-hmm. so I that was my mistake. <laughs> but yeah, I was fucking gone. Yeah. Yeah, that was tough. <laughs> I, I, that was one of those, I woke up the next day being like, oh my God, what the fuck did I do? <laughs> did you black out? Uh, for sure. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you're still sweet. Yeah. You were very nice to me. Yeah. No, I think. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I don't think I get like mean in, but I think I just get reckless with my whatevers. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm just kind of like, I. It's just not smart to get that drunk publicly. I don't think. (laughs) But yeah, I mean, that was one night where I just. uh, Well, people do that every night at the cellar. So that's what I thought. Yeah. Because it's a bar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, So I was like, well, it's got to be fine. Yeah. That, That happens once in a while. Yeah. But yeah, for me, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not doing that there. Yeah. I want to work there. (laughs) It's like going into an office that you're hoping to get hired at and being like, in another thing. (laughs) (laughs) But I wasn't uh, commiserating at all. I was just truly like fucking 
like just not with it. Yeah. At a certain point, I was like, I why am I still here? I need to go home. <laughs> I hate that you brought that up. I hate that you oh, saw really? me that. No, not really. But it is one of the nights where I, I truly, there's a only a few nights that I have like actual residual anxiety about. And that is one of them just because to me, the just cellar the is like such a yeah. spot. And then um, to be like shit face there. But it was very fun. But we were being, uh, you were very fun. So I don't think you need that anxiety. Great. Yes, Thanks. I wouldn't. That's why I'm, this is why I'm here. If, you know? if I were you, I would not have that anxiety. And I saw you as a sober person. And you were lovely. Oh yeah, yeah. So don't worry about it. All right, nice. Yes. Whew. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If I can make it, if I can make anything out of this hour, <laughs> just yeah. like you don't need to have that anxiety. Yeah. So once in a while, I will, uh, I will go in, and it's fun. I mean, because uh, yeah, I think it was me, Sam, and Jack actually. We were mm -hmm. just getting uh, after it, and they could, they could both uh, put it away. And I yeah. just when tequila comes into play, I get yeah. It's like I can have a few, but mm -hmm. after that, it's like, all right, I gotta, yeah, I gotta, you gotta know when to be out. Yeah. It's not cute anymore. Oh, yeah. Once you're like 30, 31. You just gotta do it one once in a while just to remind yourself. Yeah. That, you know, that you're human. I did. That you're hum human. That, that you're, you're human. That you're human. That you're a human boy. And, uh, but that you're just like, um, not indestructible. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you let loose and you have fun and then you wake up and you're like, okay, so two drinks before that would have been great. Yeah. You know? And you know what? I will say, now that we're talking about this, I really, when someone's always composed and I've never seen them, yeah. not. I don't trust it. Right? Oh my there God. There is some part of that. You got to have a vice. Yeah. You got to have a thing that makes you go silly willy. It's just humanizing in mm -hmm. some way. And if you just have a night where you're like a fucking wild person, that's fine. You know? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, you yeah. got to tear one off every once in a while just to get the willies out. Yeah, like yeah. I saw recently, I saw a comic who was a friend of mine like have a complete meltdown on stage while he was hosting. Uh, 48 minutes up top, just fucking 48? losing it about comedy and whatever. But it was so funny, but it was also, you know, yeah, it was insane. <laughs> but I was like, this Jesus. human, I know. And it's like a terrible night that he had. And I'm sure he thought about it the whole next day and probably mm -hmm. still is thinking about it. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> he should be. Uh, but <laughs> 48 fucking minutes. I know, it was awesome. <laughs> That's insane. Uh, by awesome, I mean the true sense of the word awesome. Like a thing of awe. You know? <laughs> and, uh, but... I mean, to that same point, it's like that was also a humanizing moment where I'm like, no, that was fucking cool. Mm -hmm. You know, if you were just up there doing just your jokes and I don't know, just come off stage and you're always composed. It's like, I don't even know who you are. Yeah. So it was nice to see him just like be like, those are growing moments. Yeah. You just can't have too much growing. Mm -hmm. No. In a row. That's I've, when growing pains kick in. Yes. Yeah. I've been hammered only one time at the cellar and it was Aperol Spritz night. And I had, I think, six Aperol spritzes and the staff was like, Caitlin's drinking? Oh my God. You know, and so they, and they gave encouraged me, it. Yeah, they encouraged it. And then I don't remember getting home. It was at the Fat Black, thank, thank God. But everyone was like, You were really fun. And I was just like, What did I say? <laughs> you know, and it just kind of uh, relaxes you a bit. And, and now the the service going to Aperol Spritz. And I'm like, Absolutely not. You get away from me. Right. <laughs> Right. Yeah. There. It's just. But now a, there's a deep bond. <laughs> you uh, know, there's a deep bond. Right. Because I saw just like, you. This bitch is nuts. Yeah. She can <laughs> get after way. it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. think I've ever seen you like in a ba in your bag like that though. No, it, I don't do it around comedy a lot. Yeah. But I'll smart. do it um, with Steve. We'll go out and not at night, and a few friends. I'll we'll go out, and I'll just be like, "We're doing it tonight." Mm -hmm. I'll just like pick a night, but usually I just have one or two, and then I'm like, "All right, bye." But. I'll do it. Oh, man. <laughs> I'll get after There's it. something about that that is so, uh, like, stressful to me to be like, you're not in control. Like, you're not mm -hmm. doing, you're not deciding what's happening. You know oh, what I, mean? I will say I, I do decide. Even when I'm shit faced. Yeah, but I don't know I'm if you're deciding like, like as you in your mind right now. Yeah. You know, I don't know if you'd make the same decisions necessarily. I think I, for instance, would have been like, I'm leaving. You know, yeah. But I was like, no, I'll have five more. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I think I've also been drunk enough because I really went through a fun phase uh, where I know how I am when I'm blackout. Ah, uh, okay. So and you so know. So I know to... the worst case scenario is like I just. It's leave. like a nightmare. You've had enough times so to know how yeah. to navigate. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. just like, well, I know that if I do have too much, which uh, I did that mm. one time, I know that I'm just like, uh, call a cab. And get home. Yeah, you know, no subway, just home. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. No, there's no time for yeah. <laughs> no. And I don't get out. I like I get deep. 
you know, if I get blackout, I'm just like, and tell me about your mom. <laughs> oh, <laughs> with other yeah, people? with other people. Instead of you being telling mm-hmm. us about no, your mom? No, I become Oprah. You spill it to me, baby. Really? Yes, 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 Interesting. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's like a grief porn kind of thing? Yeah, very much. And I'm just, uh-huh, yeah. And then I won't remember the next day. I'm like perfect for people with like commitment issues, you know? Oh, right. I shouldn't have overshared. Don't worry. I don't remember. But do you feel better? Yes? Good. Nice. <laughs> yeah, you're like, yeah. just dump it on me. Yeah. I'll ring myself out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you won't even, we'll both forget. That's fun. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're coming to the end. Wow. I'd like to ask. If Flew there, by. <laughs> did you have a nice time? I did. Oh, good. Yeah. Do you have any stories that we did not get to? Um, hmm. Hmm. I mean, for sure, but also. <laughs> <laughs> uh, trying to think of anything um, that needs to be told needs, in the current moment. Must. Oh, baby. Um, Nothing that's like really at the top of my head being like, Bleh! you know, mm-hmm. Um, but um, yeah, no. Any I got, silly I got, fun ones? I think I said my piece in this moment, at least. I don't want to like dig too deep and find. Okay. Yeah. Do you uh, ask me a more specific question and then do I Do you can... get drunk with your brothers? Have uh, you ever been drunk with your brothers? No, they're young. Like they're like 20. Two, twenty, and twelve. Mm-hmm. So I'm not really. Uh... You're the oldest. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I love that about you. Yeah, it's good. That's great. It's really great. Okay. Is there any other any comedy ones where you were just like, um, things got crazy? Comedy night, party night. Yeah. Truly, that cellar night, which you saw me, really is the one in my mind. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna think about that for a week. I'm yeah. so sorry. No, it's fine. Yeah. Um, but literally, you were not. All right. Inappropriate. Um, the, yeah, comedy night's getting fucking hammered. I don't know. I, I mean, I'm sure it all just, you know, they all just like blend together at mm-hmm. some point. You're just like, well that, you know, but yeah. I mean, truly just more fun. Like, yeah. I think now that I'm like, once I hit a certain age, it's like, I rarely have nights or, or things where like that one was the first one in New York where I can think of where I was like that. I did not want to represent myself that way. And being just like, like You weren't like that, though. You were right. like, ah! Oh, okay. oh, good. Yeah. All right. It was yeah. sweet. But I think, um, yeah, being like 30 or whatever, it's like, even when I do get fucking hammered, I'm pretty good about just being like, this is sweet. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Like, I'm having a fucking great time, yeah. and I don't want it to end, you mm-hmm. know? Yeah, that's where I get into trouble. I go, talk to a therapist, and she was like, "You just want the good times to keep going." So yes. that's the so I'm an all I'm or the same nothing. way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. It mm-hmm. is kind of that way. Yeah. Do you still drink at all? Or mm-hmm. yeah, you do. Okay. Yeah, but I definitely taper it. I'll have like one or two. I find weed and mushrooms really helps uh, tapering. Oh, really? Like if I take like a couple mushroom, uh, uh, I or what I do is I grind them up into little pills that I make out of mm-hmm. little capsules. It's like a point two, So it truly just feels like a coffee. Yeah. But it's like, that's enough of a thing for me where I'm like, I'm entertained by that curtain. <laughs> so I don't need to drink Good. a lot, you know? Yeah. So it's like, there's little things like that where you can really just do a little bit of heroin. And <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> but just yeah. Just have one vice for the other. Yeah. yeah. Uh, definitely. I mean, yeah. stand up is a drug as well. Yes, it is. And truly like, mm-hmm. we're junkies for it. Like, yes. I yeah, truly sometimes I don't have a show and I just go stand outside a club and I'm like, you got five. <laughs> I need five. Do you really? I've done that. Yeah. You yeah. go to a place you're not on and hope to get thrown on. I've definitely done that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I actually have pretty good luck with it. I bet you do. Yeah. You're an easy throw. Yeah. It's like I'm not going to make the show bad. No, you're not going to make the show bad. Yeah. You have a credit. Yeah. It's easy. Yeah. You're funny. Hey, thanks. You're Back welcome. at you. Oh, what a way to God. end. Um, we like each other. <laughs> <laughs> there that's nice right uh, that's very nice well thank you for doing the show no thank you for having me i had a blast uh when does this come out probably two weeks Ooh. or a week and a half nice depends but where can people find you uh at ryan donahuman on all the things uh all the things i just mean instagram and twitter but don't go to twitter i don't fuck i just repost animal videos that yeah. i like <laughs> Oh, that's sweet. Oh, it's sweet. But for a good time call. <laughs> for a good time call. Yeah, but uh, in- Instagram at Ryan Donahuman. And then um, I would say the most relevant thing is a uh, month from now, I'm doing an uh, hour as part of the New York Comedy Festival at Caveat on the 7th of November. Beautiful. So come to that if that you're in New great. York. 
And then before that, I'm at the DC Improv and uh, Comedy Key West. I don't know. Oh, I've done key- that. Yes. Oh, yeah. It's fun. It is fun. Did They're you go on the charter people. boat? I did not go on the charter oh, boat. Oh, you got to go on the boat. I mean. it's The boat is I why think you go. The one day we were going to go on the boat, it rained. Uh, so, mm. um, but I would love to go back. I go there. I live on that fucking boat, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm a big boat guy. All right. But yeah. Yeah. Put me on a boat. Going from the woods to the boat. Let's go. I like it. All right. Uh yeah, but yeah, that's, that's <laughs> like, are I'm you at. about to end this podcast? Yeah, I think we should end it. Yeah. Oh my god! Hey, we just don't want the good times to end. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We're addicts. <at> ex- <laughs> anyway, thank you for doing this. Thank you for having me. I enjoyed you. I enjoy you. Great, great. Bye, bye. <laughs>